let's look at the properties of trapezoids and kites. If we go back to our graphic, we see that quadrilaterals are broken into parallelograms and then into trapezoids and kites. They have their own characteristics and they are not parallelograms. Let's look at a trapezoid first. A trapezoid has exactly one pair of parallel sides. If you look at my diagram at the bottom, the parallel sides are called bases and the non-parallel sides are called legs. You can also draw a mid-segment of a trapezoid which connects the midpoint of each leg. Now the mid-segment of any trapezoid is always parallel to the bases as I've marked in my diagram. And the mid-segment of a trapezoid is always one-half the sum of the length of the bases. So if I add the bases together and divide by two, I can find the mid-segment, or the length of the mid-segment. We have a very special kind of trapezoid called an isosceles trapezoid. And that is a trapezoid where the legs are congruent. And in an isosceles trapezoid, and only when it's isosceles, each pair of base angles are congruent. So mark up your diagram like I have mine marked up. And the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Let's look at the characteristics of a kite. A kite has two pairs of consecutive, that means next to each other, congruent sides. But opposite sides are not congruent. A kite has exactly one pair of opposite angles that are congruent. So if you look at our diagram, you can see that angle A and angle B are my opposite angles that are congruent. And the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular, just like in a rhombus. Now you need to make sure and have all of these characteristics of a trapezoid and kite written down and memorized, because you will be tested over them. So let's use some of these properties. Find the length of segment MN in the figure below when the length of segment AB equals 4 and the length of segment DC equals 28. Well, I'm looking at this figure, and I know it is a trapezoid because uh, segment AB is parallel to segment DC. And I know that segment MN is a mid-segment of this trapezoid because it joins the mid-segments, which cut both legs into congruent segments. So I can use the fact that the mid-segment of a trapezoid is exactly one half the sum of the bases. First thing I'm going to do is uh, mark up my diagram. I'm going to put that AB equals 4 and DC equals 28. And then I'm going to say, hey, if I add those two together, AB and DC, and divide by 2, I can have the length of the mid-segment, which is MN. And when I do, I get the length of MN is 16. Find the measure of angle K and the measure of angle L in the figure below. Well, I'm looking at this figure, and it's a kite. And I know that it is a kite because I have two sets of consecutive congruent sides. JL equals JK and ML equals MK. And because I know that it is a kite, I know that it has one set of opposite angles that are congruent. Well, I know that angle M cannot be congruent to angle J because angle M is 90 and J is 130. So my opposite angles have to be L and, I mean, sorry, my opposite congruent angles have to be L and K. So I'm just going to call them X in my diagram. Now I have a quadrilateral, which is a four-sided figure. And I know that a quadrilateral, if I add up all the interior angles, has to give me 360. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to add up all of those angles. And I'm going to combine like terms 
and solve to figure out what x is. And when I do, I find that x equals 70. Well, I know that x is angle L and angle K. So the measure of angle L and the measure of angle K is 70 degrees. All right, you have what you need to do your homework.